I don't know who his opponents are, but I'm going to tell you this, nobody's going to outwork John Hardister. My, my role in the General Assembly is I have the majority whip in the, in the House. We count votes, we try to build consensus, and then we also um, we have to track attendance and the schedule and things like that. Uh, so I'm kind of number three in command on the, on the House side. You've got the Speaker of the House, the Majority Leader, Majority Whip after that, and um, then you have a similar structure over in the Senate. What we've done, our focus in General Assembly, and you, you've probably observed it, uh, mostly has been economic development. We work um, between the House, the Senate, the partner with the private sector, the Chambers of Commerce like yours, uh, and the Governor's office as well to uh, promote economic development in, in North Carolina. But because I'm running for Labor Commissioner, people ask me, what, is that, what does Labor Commissioner do? So it's more than just having your picture in an elevator. You're, you're going to deal with occupational safety, so OSHA. That's probably, you, you might argue, number one thing, keeping people safe. Uh, advanced manufacturing facilities and overseeing the OSHA uh, implementation. Uh, the second thing are inspections for uh, not just elevators, but escalators, mines, boilers, quarries, amusement rides, H2A housings, a whole lot of inspections that have to be done. It's important to have inspectors who are fair and efficient. And they're not there to cause problems, they're there, they're there to partner to try to, you know, effectuate safety. Uh, the third thing the department does, which I'm passionate about and I just touched on it, is uh, the community comp system. The secretary actually sits on the board as a voting member of the board. You know, so that's something that I'm really passionate about, trying to find ways to promote um, vocational uh, you know, skills. And finally, the department also, as an executive agency, has the ability to partner with certain federal recommendations that could basically be uh, implemented as a, regu a regulation. There's more jobs coming to North Carolina, there's more companies coming to North Carolina, there's more businesses that are expanding, you know, in this state. So our philosophy is basically that we don't need to have more taxes, you need to have more taxpayers, you need to have more employment. Now speaking of jobs, I think our, our biggest focus moving forward is going to have to be workforce development. That's something that we're all hearing about almost every day everywhere I go, we need workers, we need people to go to work. Uh, this uh, phenomenon is not exclusive to the state of North Carolina. This is happening all over the country, uh, but we cannot accept that here. We can't accept it anywhere. I'll say this, you have a very charming community. I, mean, I, can, I can see why Jeff decided to locate here.